heard conflicting accounts. There's this Bob Forrest guy, an ex-drug addict, and he was on Celebrity Rehab with Dr. Drew. He's like one of those sober coaches to yeah. the celebrities. He claims that the last days of River Phoenix were spent doing a lot of coke with Red Hot Chili Peppers guitarist John Frusciante. <laughs> but I heard from others that River was actually clean for the well, final days well, of his, his life. His girlfriend at the time, Samantha Mathis, said he was, for the most part, clean at the, around this time. October 31st, 1993. Shortly after midnight, River Phoenix is hit with some bad news by Flea. Gibby Haynes from the butthole surfaces there. It's oversaturated with musicians, so Flea tells him, sorry man, you're not gonna be able to jam with us anymore. Oh. And remember the context. He had an awful day on the movie set. Judy Davis has been a nightmare to work with. Yeah. And it's not gonna be a particularly good movie that they make and he just needs to let loose. Now he's feeling dejected. So he goes into the crowd of people in search of drugs. Oh God. As Johnny Depp is taking the stage, the club is nearly filled to capacity. So River's just kind of blending in now and he scores some drugs and heads into the bathroom. There is another version that he was handed a mysterious drink and the person said, here, drink this. And that's what caused him to get sick. Yeah. He ended up snorting a combo of heroin and coke, a speedball, in the bathroom, and a lot of it. Which has made a few appearances in our podcast previously. Yeah. John Belushi. Yeah. Chris Farley. Yep. Yeah. It's like a featured player on this podcast. And meanwhile, his entourage, including his brother and sister, Joaquin and Rain, and girlfriend Samantha, they're in a booth in the back of the club. Mm hmm totally oblivious to what's going on with River. They don't know that he's not going to be playing with the band anymore. They think he's getting ready with his guitar backstage. His dry spell is now over. And because of all the starting and stopping of drugs, his tolerance is not the same as it once was. He immediately fell ill and was vomiting in the toilet. Club goers started coming in and trying to help. He reportedly told one of them, too much, I took too much. Somebody offers him a Valium to calm him down. In order to survive, he's gonna need help fast. Yeah. River then stumbles into the bar, but people don't know what to do. A blood test later revealed that he had eight times the lethal amount of coke in his system. What? So he was in the, he got this drugs these drugs from someone in the audience and he just took way too much of it. Mm -hmm. Jesus. I've heard it wasn't someone in the audience. What did you hear? That it was for Shante. Really? Yeah. That's what Bob Forrest claims. Yeah. Um, so he was there that night for sure? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And then they filmed some weird video at Johnny Depp's house after. But I don't know. I'll, I'll, after. I'll find out about I that. do know that River's dad... John Bottom, or John Phoenix, hates John Fashante and blames him. So is there like some unsaid thing here saying like, you know, this is the guy that killed your son? I guess, but it, it I have not be. been able to confirm that it was John Fashante that yeah. actually gave him the final drugs. There's like a blind item thing here that is about like the video that Johnny Depp filmed at Fashante's home in the Hollywood Hills. They're speculating that it's so weird and crazy that they think Depp was trying to set Frusciante up for an insanity defense so that he wouldn't get charged with murder. <laughs> what? <laughs> and then it says here, it's been public knowledge that Frusciante was the one who gave River the heroin 25 years ago. He was trusting because he took it from a friend not knowing what it was or the dosage could drop a horse. Someone else said, just finding this out now, this is what Johnny Depp helped to minimize and provided cover for Frusciante. Yeah. Wow. In light of all the things with the Amber Heard stuff, this is kind of crazy that Johnny Depp might have tried to cover up a manslaughter, which, you know, as we talked about in the past, sounds way worse than a, a murder. And it is a difficult story to cover in some ways because there are so many alternating accounts yeah. of what went on You're that never going to hear the real story. Well, actually, this year, too, says... This is the real story. Frusciante yeah. gave River something to drink that was laced with heroin and didn't actually say, here, have this heroin. But River, without good judgment, chugged it. 
Uh, and Who's ever did. heard? Wait, but it's coke that that. But there's also cocaine in there too. Yeah. So wait, you, a speedball beverage? What what kind of shit is this? It's he crazy. Might, he might have snorted a bunch of coke and then drank this. I don't know. I'm just trying to make sense of these <laughs> yeah. fucking insane stories. Yeah, this is high C and coke and heroin. You're gonna love it. Yeah, <laughs> that was one of the rumors I brought up that someone gave him a drink. Yeah. Maybe they tried to blame that, but I don't. It, someone gave him the drugs. But this is all around the time where Prashante was severely on drugs and quit Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah. yeah. So he got booted out too. He was. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They were like had enough of him. But then he cleaned his act up and he came back. And at the end of the '90s, he kind of like they, Californication. They they put it all back together, and then they came to Woodstock '99, and we <laughs> blew it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had just freaking have it. I know, yeah. All <laughs> over the United States. Yeah, the mayor of uh, Rome, New York says, could you turn it down? And they turned it up. <laughs> they, they lit it up. Can you calm them down? They're starting fires out there. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. We'll play a song called Fire. <laughs> yeah, while well, they have a bunch of candles <laughs> in their hands. Another account is saying Frusciante was holed up in a mansion at, uh, after the night in question threatening to kill himself because he thought police were looking for the person who supplied the drugs to River. Oh, wow. Like, so he was ready to kill himself instead of go to jail. So he knew there was some level of guilt that he had. It's possible. Okay, well, we have a theory here. Mm, There's Uh, a thread. Yeah, because he thought he was looking at second-degree murder. This is all alleged by possible uh, people who were there that night. Yeah, and he really got fucked up after this John Frusciante. Like, he was, like, on death's door himself. I remember there was a video of him making a documentary, and he was, like, fucking frail and, like, fucked up. And then they got Anthony Kiedis's, uh response to it, and he's like, yeah, the, our, you know, John's really fucked up there. Mm. And so, and he came back around, and it was, like, as of the late 90s, he was, like, back in it 100%, and he's still in it. He was on... They were on Stern not too long ago, uh, talking about Taylor Hawkins dying and stuff, uh, who also died of a, a drug overdose recently. And from the Foo Fighters. From the Foo Fighters, yeah. And they asked John Versante, what do you think about uh, Kurt Cobain and, and Nirvana and stuff? He's like, they're all right. <laughs> like, <he's> like, <laughs> I, I implore you to listen to this interview. He's like, I didn't kill River. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was wait, like, I didn't ask you that. I didn't see that part either. Yeah, that... You should listen to this because John Versante is like, he's wild these days. <laughs> he's, he's got some wild things to say. Mm-hmm.